All right, guys, welcome back to part two of Beat Roots. I'm here with Jake, and we're gonna be talking about the piano and pads and the melody and the effects in this part. Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's once again hop into the stem file and take a listen. All right, so we've got the stem file open, and first we're gonna listen to the keys and pads. What can you tell us about those? Um, yeah, so I feel like a pretty important part of making a track is uh, all the different layers. So we're going to go in and look at the layers. And uh, it's just a simple piano right now, but and there's two different layers. And then also we'll look at the pads. Dope. We got the melody and the effects right here. Yeah. So this is the main melody. Again, it sounds kind of simple, but uh, there are, I think, three different layers in it. So we'll look at those and then uh, maybe just have a quick glance over the effects. Excellent, man. Yeah. Let's dig a bit deeper in the project file. There are four parts to it. Uh, there's the piano, there's the pass, and the melodies, which, is the, which are the main melodies and the effects. So for the piano, um, I came up with a chord progression. I think it's a four chord progression, and I layered it with a lower part and a higher part. So you just EQ them uh, respectively. Um, and then together, they sound like this. So I think together uh, it's a little more interesting and make it it makes it sound uh, more rich and just fuller in general than just having one piano playing the whole way through. Um, yeah, so yeah, I definitely I enjoy the the fullness of the piano. Yeah, um, and so the pads. There's the vocal part, which this I just found. Um, from this new software by output i think uh called exhale i was um i was introduced to it by a friend and then i just started flipping through some presets and then i just found this one by accident and it just kind of fit with the rest of the chords so i was just like why not use it <laughs> that's how that's actually the main part of the sound so yeah um uh, happy accidents and the pad this this pad kind of supports the uh the vocal um, together, I think they sound they go together pretty well. Yeah, and there's another third layer that's like the second part of the the intro to kind of go into the to the chorus. And there's a guitar too. It's really faint in the back, but um, <clears throat> kind of gives it a more just acoustic feel. You can't really pick it out. Mm -hmm. in the track but it's there and it fills out the spectrum a little more too okay um yeah and the main melody so yeah so the interesting part the inter interesting thing with this part is that i didn't write any of the melodies myself mm -hmm. i just used the ableton uh arpeggiator Okay. to come up with all the melodies and I just use different patterns and <laughs> and then I just cut like cut out different parts of the different patterns and and kind of just put them together yeah however I, I thought it sounded good this way so that's just how I put it together is that how uh, you often just like experiment and try to come up with cool riffs or is this just something you're yeah, trying out? It's, it's, this is what I did for this track so it's definitely something that's worth looking into I mean um, I was just out of ideas, and I'm not really like a, a instrumentalist myself. So yeah. this just helped me came up with a, a, a melody. Yeah. So that's what I used, and then, um, and then this has this part has three different layers. Um, again, I find that it helps to think of layering as like uh, a lower and the mid and a top mm -hmm. to think about uh, the spectrum of sound when you when you try to layer instead of just like oh yeah just like thinking I need layers so just throw in random layers in it so this way you kind of have a better idea as to uh, how to pick out your layers <clears throat> so this one this is another piano with a little more reverb and it's like a little more uh, it's, it's like a deeper sound um, and this is like a music box type sound mm. and then this one this one is serum I think okay. this is just a regular like synth and then somehow together with these three 
this sounds like really oriental. This sounds yeah. like some just like another instrument. Right. And it doesn't sound like this like three sounds. You know, it just yeah. sounds like one some weird like oriental <laughs> instrument. Yeah, no, it, it's a very like yeah. complete sound. So it just came out that way. So it's just like another, you know, one once again it's just a happy accident. Happy accident, right? On. And then yeah. you got the effects over here. Um Yeah. Uh the effects is you know, it's all pretty standard. You obviously need different effects like uplifters and downshifters to carry the track from different sections to the next. Um, but one thing that's interesting in this one is I use the city ambience in the back mm. and it pretty much plays this whole time. So without it, it's kind of, it sounds kind of sterile, mm. but with it, um, it just gives gives the track like a vibe, like you're in the city or like you can't pick it out if you're listening to the track, but but um, but it's there in the background and it just helps to gel the track together and also kind of fills out fills out the top end a little more. Okay. Yeah, it's just noise. Yeah, you don't notice it, but it definitely like yeah. helps to add some sort of energy to the yeah. track. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Thank you for sharing. This has been another episode of Beat Roots. Jake, thanks so much for joining us, yeah, man. No problem. Join us another time for a new episode of Beat Roots. Does that sound weird? Join us another time for another episode of Beat Roots? All right.